Small drones could play a big role in stronger border security. That came out today in Homeland Security hearings chaired by Arizona Congresswoman Martha McSally. As Nine Your Science Craig Smith reports, McSally's subcommittee is looking into boosting technology as part of border defense. Customs Border Protection has used large unmanned aircraft for more than 10 years. They can spot smugglers or immigrant groups in distress and stay in the air for up to 30 hours. Arizona Congresswoman Martha McSally chairs the House Border and Maritime Security Subcommittee. Looking into ways to use more technology to secure the border, Customs and Border Protection says for fast response, filling gaps in aerial coverage, and giving agents on the ground a better idea of the situation around them, CBP will try smaller drones that may stay up a half hour to perhaps three hours. Now we want to test those in an operational testing environment uh, in Arizona in South Texas and in Swanton, Vermont, coming up in, in September. McSally questioned CBP about how it has reduced air assets in southern Arizona. I understand there's uh, increased activity in, in other sectors, uh, but still 50 percent of the marijuana comes through the Tucson sector. And especially in the hot summer, uh, we have a number of, of deaths in the desert, and the air assets are very critical to uh, getting to people uh, before, they, uh, before it's life-threatening. The agency says it has shifted aircraft as areas like South Texas became busier, but southern Arizona still has more manned aircraft and drones than any other part of CBP and should not face any more cuts. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.